Hi, Perry Stevens here, personal trainer over at Boomer Fitness. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about the four different types of protein powders you can use to make shakes. There's a lot of them out there, but I tend to go with these four kind of as my key staples. So the first one that I go to, which I consider is the gold standard, would be a whey protein. Whey protein um, is going to get quickly absorbed into your body, and so it's really great to be used for um, right after working out to fuel the muscles that you've just used. It's great to use that and combine that with a carbohydrate um, right after working out. The second one that I like to use is a casein powder. Now this one is more uh, it's absor absorbed into the bloodstream a little bit slower, and so it actually will feed the muscle over a longer period of time. So the best time to use casein powder would be at night, um, before bedtime, to just keep feeding that muscle as you sleep overnight. It also helps keep you satiated. Um, the third one that I like to call kind of a combination, I don't know if there's an actual name for it, but it's a combination of casein and whey. So you'll get both the benefits of whey and casein in one. Um, and I typically will use this as a meal supplementation or at least my protein supplementation for breakfast. It seems to be that's the best way and I typically will add a carbohydrate with that um, to make a full meal. And then finally um, would be a plant-based protein. Um, there's a lot of them out there, pea protein, sunflower protein, some have mixes in them, but it's a great alternative, especially if you are lactose intolerant or can't, um, I guess, digest some of the other proteins I just talked about since they all come from milk and dairy. So many people go to protein powders as a quick um, meal replacement. Um, I think the best reason in using these protein shakes is because most people do not get enough protein in their diet. I think, you know, the USDA suggests maybe like 60 grams of protein is sufficient, but really, you know, if you are working out um, at all or you're an athlete of any sort, you're definitely going to need more protein in your diet. Um, it is said that if for muscle gain, you want to have at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weighed 120 pounds, for example, at minimum you should be consuming 100, 120 grams of protein and as you guys know I mean that can be hard and so protein powders kind of fill in um, and what's interesting is studies actually show if you go a little bit higher in protein 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight you will actually um, it will actually encourage fat loss so that's why it's super important. So again, you know, if you weighed like 150 pounds and you wanted fat loss, you would actually would up your protein to 225 grams. Seems like a lot, but trust me, it works. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about each one of these protein powders and the benefits and how to use it, go to boomerfitness.com for the next set of videos to learn more. I would love to hear what you liked best about this video. So down below, you'll see a comment section. Just leave your comments, and I want to thank you so much for the comments you've been leaving me over the months, and I've been getting back to filling those out. Also down below in the description box, you'll see a link, and in that description box with that link, you want to click it, and it's going to take you to another page where you're going to get four free workouts. To get those four, four free workouts, you just have to enter your email address. So go down below, click the link, and we're going to get you those, those workouts right away by entering your email address. Also, down below, make sure you click the subscribe button so you get updated when we release all this great content. So thank you again for tuning in. Thank you so much for your comments. Go get your free workouts, and you guys make it a great day.